The amazing thing about the barramundi is you can be in two metres of water with two metres viz and still see images like this. That's what gets you chasing these fish. Now this is the sort of visibility you can expect when you're chasing barramundi. One to three metres viz is about the average. But on those rare and exceptional days, you can get visibility like this, where you can see large schools of fish of up to 20 kilos. The 80 centimetre roller gun made short work of this 9 kilo barra. As you can see there are beautiful fish with stunning silver flanks and a big powerful yellow tail. This specimen is likely to be a wild saltwater fish. This is the sort of water where the 80 centimetre roller gun really comes into its own. As you can see it's pretty filthy and this has actually been edited so you can get a bit more detail. You can see I'm moving my head quite a lot, but at any second, a barra could be sitting right in front of me, like this 10 kilo fish. Again, the short roller makes it really easy to put a spear into these fish at close quarters. As you can see, my shot was a little high and I had to subdue the fish underwater to make sure it didn't tear off. Barramundi are renowned for their fighting qualities. I had to get this one under control really quickly so those big nasty head shakes didn't dislodge my spear. With the improved visibility that I found here, I opted to go for a longer one metre spear gun. Two bands ensure that it's going to throw that seven and a half mil spear straight through any barrel that you're going to find. Often you'll find juvenile Queensland groper where you're likely to hunt barramundi. Be very careful that you're shooting a barramundi, not a Queensland groper, as the juveniles also have a yellow tail. When you are seeing lots of little Queensland groper, it's easy for a barramundi to take you by surprise, like this one. Hey SDM. Hey. This winter we spent a bunch of time up north chasing barramundi, and as we all know, barra live in some really poor conditions, poor visibility tough to dive in, so we spent some time thinking through our equipment to make sure we could target these fish effectively. First thing we had to think about was our guns. Now, this is my one meter Euro, gun that I use when the visibility is at its best. Around that five meter mark, this gun's a really effective gun. Double rubber, seven and a half mil spear, throws very powerful and will go through any barrel money that you encounter. But most of the time, the visibility is not good enough to use a gun like that. So we put some thought into how we could use a smaller gun, still be very, very powerful. And I got my hands on a 85 centimeter roller gun. Roller heads, very easy to get a hold of these days. Powerful, uh, make, make a very small gun become very, very powerful. This gun, 18 mil rubbers, eight mil spear, go through any barra. And it's great to hunt in visibility of one to two meters. Dan came up with his own gun, gun that he designed himself, put together himself again, a roller head. This one's an 80 centimeter model. And again, eight mil spear, 18 and a half mil rubbers. These rubbers are really, really tight. And in fact, this is a really hard gun to load. Wonderful gun. Not only is it a wonderful gun, but it looks fantastic. The great addition that Dan has added to this gun is a super, super sharp tip. This tip will punch through those hard scales on a barramundi, even that hard plate on the top of its head. Sometimes shooting barra on a camera can be just as fun as shooting a barra on a gun. I'd already shot a barra for the morning so I decided to film Lee. Here you can see both of our perspectives during the hunt.
these fish have an incredibly hard skull. It's not recommended to shoot them here unless you have a razor sharp spear. Not only did this result in some wicked footage, I got to share the stoke with a mate after shooting an awesome fish. Here a smaller fish around 8 kilos reveals itself to Tim, but given the selective nature of spearfishing, he lets it swim by in pursuit of larger prey. Given the relatively shallow water around two to four meters, the weight vest proves invaluable in keeping yourself on the bottom for the entirety of the dive. Crawling slowly along the bottom will greatly reduce your chances of spooking a fish. It also gives you the chance to look up into the sunlight to see the silhouettes of fish in really dirty water. The short roller allows a quick shot from the hip, but with enough punch to go through a big fish. Contrary to popular belief, this 110 centimeter, 16 and a half kilo barramundi that Tim shot was in fact a male. Now, not only do barra live in really dirty water, we often spend a lot of time hunting them in quite shallow water. So we had to spend some time discussing how we could effectively hunt these fish by following the bottom and laying on the bottom. Most of the time we're doing a lot more of our hunting in deeper water, so we're positively buoyant generally to around the 10 metre mark. But this hunting's done most often in two to five metres of water, so we needed to add some weight to our weight belts. Two years ago, added lots of weight to my actual belt, got a real sore back, very difficult to do. This year we invested in some weight vests to be able to make this hunting more effective, put less pressure on our back. I went old school, being as I'm quite an old person, and I grabbed myself a uh, webbing weight vest. This one's not really comfortable, but very practical and does the job. Dan splurged, went out, bought himself a Spore Sub weight vest. This thing's made out of Lycra, incredibly flexy, really, really comfortable. And he added to it to make it even more comfortable, these lead shot bags. Sewed them up himself. Very masculine. <laughs> very, very masculine and a, a job well done. These things make him super comfortable and a great thing. This vest is a great vest. It's also got a, a safety release harness and it can pop off really easy. This is important when hunting barra. You're often spending time hunting around different snags or different environments that things could often catch a hold of you. This one, very simple. It gets caught just like this. Pop the vest, it falls off and you can go back to the surface. In some cases, barramundi are really easy to get close to. This is a large barramundi that I caught on film in the 15 to 18 kilo range. He was schooling up with a number of other fish, all the way from five kilos to his size. With the rare occasion that you actually get viz this good, you can probably just use your normal spear gun. In fact, my mate Lee ended up shooting one with a 1400 Rob Allen. With everyone shooting a large barramundi for the morning, Tim decides to let this 12 to 15 kilo fish swim off unscathed. A final word of warning, hunting these fish with a camera or a gun is highly addictive.